The mission of the Legacy Media Institute is to work with emerging filmmakers to interact with them and give them some reality-based experience so that when they go out in the workplace, uh, they can hit the ground running. Uh, we're going to bring seasoned professionals uh, among the, the filmmakers that are now called, when they come to the Institute, they're referred to as fellows. And uh, over a period of uh, seminars and workshops, we hope to get them more involved with the rapid changing business of media creation. All that information as well as the opportunity to create a documentary happens in a four-week uh, workshop. I've probably learned more in my four weeks here than I could say I've learned my whole life doing film. This is really not a classroom, this is actual production that you will be involved in. And you will be doing it. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. And then you're going to have to go out there and be creative and tell the story. It is definitely a great hands-on experience. Like You get reality training here. There's no sitting in the classroom learning out of a book. It's this is the set, you go grab that C stand in C47 and get the job done. This is my first time working on a, on a production. To be on a real set is very informative. It's given me a lot of hands-on experience. One of the reasons that it's so important for people who are actually uh, hoping to become filmmakers or work behind the scenes in television or film, they have to grasp the, the technology, the, they have to grasp the, the the things that are, are said on a set so they understand what people mean when they ask for a particular piece of equipment or a prop or whatever it is. And what I've noticed in my travels around to uh, colleges and universities uh, speaking to uh, emerging filmmakers is that the, the gap between the academics and the reality of the business is very wide. And um, someone has to bridge that gap because in order for them to be competitive, when they come onto a set, people expect them to be professional and competitive instantly. When I first came to New Millennium Studios for the Legacy Media Institute program, I thought it was going to be just, you know, a workshop. Maybe Tim would show us some of his films. Daphne would show us some of hers. We would just meet new people and just learn, learn a few tools of the trade. But on day three, Tim told us we were going to be making a documentary on Pocahontas Island. We just kind of pretty much just dove right into it. and. It, it was, uh, it was a lot more challenging than a workshop, but I'm glad we had the opportunity to actually make this documentary to have something solid that at the end of this we can all, the 12 of us can look back and say, look what we did. I can say the most challenging part was learning so much in four weeks. I feel that we've learned a lot of things and we've gained a lot of things, not only in TV production or film production, or working as a crew, but also learning history of an area that has been forgotten. I think everybody will walk away with something that they didn't have when they came in. One moment that I will always cherish from being a summer 2010 fellow of the Legacy Media Institute is just to have Tim Reed know my name and say, you have improved and I'm very impressed at your work. He said that at the lunch table to me. Like, just knowing that because I don't have to speak, I just do the work and I do it well, and I'm learning and I'm improving, that's just enough for Tim Reed to notice me. I'm, that's, that's great to me. One of the biggest things I think um, has been really inspiring and, and I've appreciated about this experience is speaking to so many other filmmakers, um, directors, cinematographers, people uh, specializing in graphics, um, sound, who are at the top of their game, um, who've been able to share their life stories about the industry, their tips, their um, keys to success, basically. And one of the things that I've probably taken away most from, I think I already had it, but I've just taken it away even more. It's become much more um, obvious to me that that's what helps take you forward to create success, and that's passion. Every one of the different speakers that has come in has always spoken about passion. You must be passionate about whatever it is you're doing to have it and to get it done. It's almost bittersweet now that the documentary is almost done because I'm proud because, you know, we're wrapping everything up and I'm excited because I'm excited to see how it turns out. And it's kind of bitter for the simple fact that it's like you get to know everybody and you get so close to everybody and now everybody's going back their separate ways and we get used to our regular routines again. So, yeah, I'm gonna miss everybody. <laughs> This experience was beyond amazing. It was beyond anything that 
I think anyone could ask for. And um, to be a student and coming in as an intern, I mean, Tim Reed and Daphne are probably the most humble people in the business that you can meet. And for them to reach out and kind of help students get along, you don't find that very often. We chose Pocahontas Island as our first uh, project for the inaugural class of uh, fellows for uh, the 2010 workshop because for two reasons. One is it's a very important piece of history. It's local and uh, I thought it would give the students an opportunity. It's so little known about it that I thought it would give them an opportunity to, to, to really go in deeply and research it. Before this project I knew absolutely nothing about Pocahontas Island. When he first told us we were doing it, we were, I was like, Pocahontas Island? Like, where is that? And come to find out it's right in Petersburg and I pass it all the time when I was in school. This is the William Walker House. It's 1839. William Walker was the son of Mary Walker. Mary Walker in 1805 sold him and his brother into slavery. For me, the best thing about working on this project has been learning a new history. I'm passionate and I like to learn history or African history, no matter where I am in the world. So I think I've increased my uh, knowledge in African-American history. I think Pocahontas Island is one of those places where it's, a, it's an unknown history, but it's so worth telling.